Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Barbie. Today I'm sharing with you guys my weekly haul. And I went to Trader Joe's to Target and I also went to the Latin market. I'll start on this side with Trader Joe's. I picked up some mushrooms, sliced, just for convenience. I guess they're almost the same price. And I think that this one actually brings a little bit more than the little containers of the whole mushroom. So I just picked up a bag of this. I picked up some bone broth um, because I'm making some soup or what um, like a traditional Nicaraguan soup. It's oxtail soup. It's absolutely delicious and full of vegetables. That's why I went to the Latin market to pick up the vegetables there because there's some things that I, um, well, there's a couple of vegetables I got there that I can't find at Trader Joe's. So I went there and I'll go ahead and add this just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Picked up some mixed nut butter. I always like to um, have a backup of this in my pantry and I just opened the last one. Picked up some yogurt, um, blueberry, apricot mango, pineapple kiwi, and two regular mangoes. Um, these are De Diego's favorites, so picked up some of those. I picked up my Mighty Sea Acerola Cherry Juice Shot. This has over a thousand percent of the daily value of vitamin C that you need. I start my day with one of these every every morning. Um, and I was completely out because I didn't go to Trader Joe's last week. Um, so I went ahead and picked up six. Um, some mozzarella cheese. We were all out of mozzarella cheese. Some shredded three cheese blend. Completely out as well. Two bags of mango chunks. The Trader Joe's mango chunks are my favorite. Just the flavor and the texture. It's the best one. I used to buy the one from Costco all the time. And then the Costco one, I couldn't find it. So I started buying the Trader Joe's ones. And I just couldn't go back to the Costco one. So sticking with the Trader Joe's. And since I didn't go to Trader Joe's last week, um, I bought an extra one to put in my freezer. Two gallons of lactose-free 2% milk. This is a new find. Yaya sent me a picture, I think it was yesterday, showing me this that she saw it on Instagram. And she's like, Mom, can you look at look for it? And if you find it, buy me one. She's in Texas. And the Trader Joe's um is like 40 minutes away from where she lives over there. So I told her I'll go. I have to send her a box, anyways, with some um stuff. And I'm gonna send it to her. I'm pretty sure, you know, this is good until. Well, it says there until the 13th. So if I take it today, it'll make it fine. If I have to freeze it, I'll freeze it. Um, so yeah, gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins. It brings four. It was $3.99. So we'll see. This is not something I would buy every week. Just want to try it out. Some TJ's organic um, barbecue sauce for a meal this week. Some fries for the kids they like to make stuff on the air fryer for easy lunches or snacks so i got that i got two packs of sweet corn fresh corn this was so pricey i guess since it's not corn season this was four dollars each well 3.99 um so but i bought it for the soup one bag of limes i'll be using a lot of limes for the soup today and i always like to keep um limes in my fridge got some organic potatoes, I got some red potatoes, and I got some gold potatoes because I'll be using some for the soup and I'll be using some for um, during the week. Got some bell peppers, some onions, some bananas. The bananas were looking very, very sad. This is actually like a, how I like to eat them, even a little bit more spotted. So hopefully, you know, they get eaten quick enough before they go too ripe. If not, I'll freeze them for smoothies. Um, so I had to pick and choose because they were, these were the best I could find. So I got some grapes and then I got some of these Bay Cheese Crunchies, like the Cheetos. These are gluten-free and I got into them. I was starving by the time I left Trader Joe's, so I picked that up and I was just snagging on that. I got some pasta for my pantry because I'm all out. And this is the yellow lentil brown rice pasta, organic. Um, really clean ingredients and really good protein source on this. Got some plantain chips for my pantry. 
Um, and I think that's everything I got at Trader Joe's. Then Target, I didn't get a lot of things. I got some body wash because I think we're using the last one. I don't have any more in my closet. So went ahead and picked up that as backup. Some balanced dryer sheets, two feminine washes, one for each bathroom because I know that the kids' bathroom is all out and my bathroom is running low. Some ranch dressing because we're running low. Some sponges for or you know for the kitchen got some of this original breakfast sausage diego was saying yesterday that he missed having something like this like on the weekend so i picked that up some these are some sausages he said he loves hot dog and so i don't really buy it you know that often so i figure this would be more hardy than just a little piece you know just a regular hot dog and this has um cheddar in it so pick that up and then with that i got this bread it looks so good and it's so soft i can't have any of the you know any of the bread because i am gluten free i'm gluten intolerant um but for them i got these to go with this and i have some hamburger patties in the freezer and he was also saying that you know yesterday um it, for me to buy some bread so i got this you know it's not a lot that's just enough for them to probably eat one time you know if they all make themselves a hamburger maybe we'll have like a couple left over and then some flour tortillas for them. They like to make quesadillas and stuff like that for quick snacks. But, well, let me finish with Target first. Got one dozen egg of the Happy Egg, the organic free range. This is the best. These are the best eggs. Better than the ones from Costco. I absolutely love them. I love the color of the yolk. It's this, like, vibrant, almost orangey color and the taste is amazing i really like this my favorite egg i'm so glad that they sell it at target and the price is not that bad i think it's like 4.99 or something like that for a dozen but here in california eggs are expensive and then the last thing i got at target was this plant um it's fake but i thought it was so cute the lavender i loved it and it was only five dollars so i picked it up and i'll just find a spot for it around the house and then at the Latin market, I picked up two bags of these cookies. These cookies, that's the only place I have ever seen them. So it's not something that you can probably find anywhere else. They're probably, I don't even know where they're made. Um, I don't even know where they come. But they're absolutely delicious. One time Diego went there and he just saw that it said no gluten. And they're corn cookies and he brought it to me. He's like, hey baby, I brought you some cookies. They're gluten-free and oh my gosh, they're so delicious. When Yaya was here, she tried them. And she told me, hey, when you go, can you buy me some and send them? So I'll send her um, these two. I have a, I have one bag in, in the pantry, so I'll send these to her. And these were the only two bags they had too. And they're only like a dollar something for these. And then the, the rest are veggies. I got some zucchini, some squash. This They call this um, like Mexican squash, I think. Um, this is chayote. I don't know what it's called in English, but in Spanish it's chayote. This is so good. It's a type of squash as well. And this is, I, I really like this. We eat this in the soup. Some carrots, tomatoes, some um, ripened plantains. I'm gonna put that into soup as well. Some cabbage, some beans, red beans. These are, they're called red silk beans. These are like, these beans most likely come from Nicaragua because all the beans that Nicaragua produces, they export them. And a lot of, like in El Salvador, they buy the beans from Nicaragua and then they package them. I was looking at these and these say they are from, um, LA they package them in LA but I wouldn't be surprised if these come from Nicaragua um, because a lot of the red beans that you, you see everywhere even though they're packaged and it says they're from you know packaged somewhere else they, they usually they come from Nicaragua these are the beans we eat in Nicaragua the consistency is different it's not as it doesn't get as mushy it's more firm and when we make our gallo pinto which is the rice and the beans mixed together it's just so so good like you know you just have to try them i feel like they take a little longer to cook but it's totally worth it and one bag this is a four pound bag and these type of beans that's the only well all the Latin markets usually carry this type of bean, but I go to that grocery store because it's really big and it has everything I could want from, you know, 
from like a Latin foods in one place and they have like the best prices because they're a large grocery store here in the, the area. This was only $4.99. So every time I go there, since I don't go to that store every week, um, sometimes I go like once a month or something like that, I pick up a bag for my pantry. And a bag, this is four pounds. If we eat consistently, like this would last us maybe for like, I don't know, maybe like, um, I don't know, maybe eight meals or something like that. And usually I cook it like, um, like half, I'll cook like two pounds and then I'll cook the other two pounds on a different time. Then I'll, you know, portion, portion it out and usually I'll just freeze them. And then the last thing for the soup, well, this is not for the soup though. And then the last thing I got for the soup was cassava or we, it, we know it as yuca. Um, and this is delicious, absolutely delicious. So, so good. This is pro this product is from Costa Rica, actually, a neighbor country to Nicaragua. And that's it. That's everything that I got. And today I filmed it here on my dining table because my kitchen is a mess. I'll just give you a little glimpse of real life. I got the oxtail bones boiling over there for the soup. But yeah, so it was going to take me longer to clean up over there. So I just decided to do it over here. And... There you have it. That is my grocery haul for this week. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. If you like grocery hauls, this is the channel for you. I know I haven't posted in a few weeks, um, but here I am. I'm going to start with this one. Let me know in the comments down below. I have like four or five hauls that I have. I never got around to post. If you guys you know, they're from the last month. If you guys want me to post them, I will post them or start fresh from today on. Let me know. I will see you guys on my next video. Goodbye. Hello.